Hey, it's Rina. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be unboxing a couple of keyboards and sharing my initial impressions on each of them. If you're new to my channel, I make videos on digital planning and related accessories, so subscribe to my channel for more of this content. I use Bluetooth keyboards for digital planning on my iPad and Samsung tablet, and I seem to keep buying them, so now I have a small collection going. Today, I'm really excited to unbox some new keyboards and share my thoughts on them. So this first one, I have had my eye on for some time, but I was kind of on the fence about whether to get it due to the price tag. So I was really excited when the company Newkey offered to send me a sample for promotional purposes. First impressions, this keyboard looks absolutely stunning and I love the pink and white color and the retro design that's based on a typewriter. It is however lighter than I expected and the plastic body doesn't feel quite as premium as I was expecting just based on the price tag. Judging it on appearances though, I'd say this is the most beautiful keyboard I've ever seen and I also really love the blue backlighting. I put my 12.9 inch iPad Pro on it and you can see it's not very stable since the body is quite light. My iPad is an older model though so I'm thinking the newer thinner iPads will do better. I took off the iPad case and that did help but the backrest is still fairly wobbly as you can see. Next I'm testing it out in my digital planner and I'm just dropping in some reminders for the upcoming month. By the way, I have it plugged in just because I decided to use it straight out of the box but it has a built-in battery and once charged you don't need the cable. It's connecting to the iPad via Bluetooth and it was really easy to set up and you can also connect other devices using the USB cable. So I will let you hear more of the typing sound later without me speaking, but I personally like the clicky typing sound of the blue switches as it mimics the sound of a real typewriter, which I think is really fun, but it can be fairly loud. The backlighting looks amazing in the dark and it has different brightness levels and light effects which I had fun trying out. The scroll knob on the side is an on-off switch as well as a volume controller which is really cool that has got a functional purpose. Next I'm doing a typing test using the website MonkeyType. This is my favourite website for typing practice and with this test you just type and it tells you how many words you typed per minute and what your accuracy is. I'm going to shut up for a moment so you can hear more of the typing sound both when I'm typing fast and slow. This keyboard is compatible with iOS, Android, Mac OS and Windows, so I'm also testing out with my Samsung tablet. It was also really easy to set up, but once again I had the same issue with the backrest. The tablet didn't sit on it snugly and it was also a bit wobbly. You can connect up to three devices and switch between them with a shortcut key and I found this very easy to set up as well. Overall, I love this keyboard for the aesthetic design and the clicky keys. I think it's just a really fun keyboard to use and makes typing kind of a new experience. I definitely see myself using this one a lot, but it's not without its flaws. I love to see an improved backrest and a heavier body, considering the pricing is towards the premium end. This next keyboard I purchased on Amazon during a sale and once again I've had my eye on this one for some time. I live in the UK so this is the UK version of the keyboard. The US version is called Uboti and I'll link to that one instead as I guess more of you guys watching are from the US. It comes with some cute stickers and a dusting brush which is really useful. I love the design of this keyboard and the pastel colored keys. I think the pinks, peach and purple colors go really well together. This is not a mechanical keyboard and the pricing reflects that. You need to put batteries in it and I had some trouble getting it to work initially. For some reason, it just didn't recognize that I'd put the batteries in, but once I got it working, it was fine. I'm testing it out in my digital planner and I think it types pretty well and I largely like the sound of the keys. 
I'm not a fan of how the space key sounds and that's a common issue in these types of keyboards. It's compatible with iOS, Android, macOS and Windows and I got it working on my Samsung tablet and had no problems getting it to pair. So I noticed what looks like shortcut keys for switching between devices so I tried to do it but it didn't work and looking at their Amazon listing page it doesn't mention being able to switch between devices so I'm not sure this is possible. Overall, I think this is a really cute and functional keyboard and the price is decent, especially if you can get it on sale. This next keyboard was sent to me and unfortunately due to some miscommunication, it turns out this is actually not a Bluetooth keyboard and can't be used with an iPad or a Samsung tablet, but I wanted to do a quick unboxing anyways because the artwork on this thing is just so stunning. They had several designs and this one was my favourite. It has the Coral Sea keycaps to match the base and the artwork goes all the way around the keyboard. I got the one with red switches and this keyboard is hot swappable which means you can actually change the switches out. It has RGB backlighting with different light effects and I really like the typing sound and the build quality seems decent so I'm actually very sad that I can't use it with my iPad but I just had to try it with my computer and it works great. Anyway that's all for this video, please give me a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe for more and check out my other videos in the meantime. Thanks for watching!